Kneecap had its premiere at the 2024 Sundance Film Festival, and it might just be the number one gem of the whole festival. A lot of time I ran it, I suppose you've read for a horse from Kyo. It's the Reagan, Ganesh and Dini, the hip hop and the heron. Gan Tractor, hip hop and the heron, and Yulig. We came to our world circle, they're not called hip hop or beyond and Yulig. We're not called the Eastern hip hop and the Yulig. Tour Kustin, I can't. Can't fa. Kneecap follows a group of real rappers Mowgli Bap, Mokara, and DJ Pruva, who formed an unlikely trio in West Belfast in the north of Ireland, becoming a cultural, a language phenomenon, rapping primarily in Irish. This film from Pepiot follows a version, slightly hyperbolized version of the group from their inception through the struggles that they've encountered, be it with opposition in Belfast, be it with radio stations or news networks, all of which have occurred to the group in real life. I had the chance to chat with the guys from the group and director Rich Pepia before the premiere and it was a ride. These guys strolled in without a care in the world. In fact, they didn't even know where JJ was, DJ Pruva, and they had a blast on the press line. They even brought the sniffer dogs in, which is a bit of a nod to one of their songs, Your Sniffer Dogs Are Shite. And they were open, they were honest, and all of that was revealed in the film as well. I chatted with both Rich Pepiot and the boys about how this film came to be, and it's a pretty hilarious story. Essentially, Rich Pepiot, the director, wanted to go to a show, wanted to go to a concert. Not speaking, essentially, a word of Irish, he went to this rap show, and he basically fell in love with this group. He knew that there was something there that needed to be shared with the world, not just Ireland, not just the north of Ireland. Essentially, he tried to reach out for several months to grab a pint with these guys, and they weren't so sure about meeting with this, uh, this guy who spoke no Irish. They'd had encounters with a bunch of English folks, with a bunch of other Irish folks who didn't really understand what they were doing and weren't too enticed. Eventually though, Rich convinced them and as the story goes, which I got from the group that night, Rich came over to their place, they drank a few Guinness, drank a few more, and they crushed out 40 pages of the screenplay in quote, record time. Then they got a little bit too into it and the rest of the script took a few years to complete, but they made it. They made it to Sundance, and they kind of rose against all odds. On the surface, these guys, both in real life and in the film, seem like they don't care about anything. They're into drugs, they're into partying, they're really into chaos. And while that might be true, that's a side of them, they understand the impact that they are having, on the Irish language. This film shows their craziness, shows the chaos that surrounds them and the chaos that they create, but it also acknowledges that indigenous languages are dying every day. It acknowledges that language is the lifeblood that makes us who we are. It acknowledges that these three guys, this unlikely trio, are potentially saving or contributing to the saving of the Irish language. The film itself is pretty enthralling. It is action-packed. It's funny. It stars the three members of the group, and they had no acting experience prior to this, and Rich himself acknowledged that their first acting class was a disaster. That being said, it's really tough to see that on screen. They seem confident, they seem comfortable, 
in their roles playing different versions of themselves. This is not a traditional biopic. There are elements of music video thrown in, which makes sense giving, given that Rich has directed many music videos in his past, including one for Decap. Their lyrics are often shown on the screen kind of in an anime style, engaging the audience in a way that traditional biopics just don't. There are also clear connections and references to the African-American struggle and the use of rap to preserve their culture and their language. This film didn't have a ton of buzz going into the festival, but it was immediately picked up by Sony Classic Pictures, which is honestly taking a risk. This film is controversial. There have been politicians already who have spoken out against the film wanting it banned. But the boys from NECAP and director Rich Pepiot are here to send a message. They're going to create art, whether you like it or not. I definitely recommend checking it out. It's not your typical biopic. It's not your typical documentary on a group of musicians. It's, an, it, it's a narrative-driven story, and it's happening right now.